Okay, I'm gonna go over the setup and running of the of a vinyl cutter, GRC61. Uh, first off, Craigslist from a crackhead. Uh, you can see down here, this is where the uh, serial and model number is. So it is the GRC61. Um, I think it's about 28 inches wide. We have a GCC brand, come on, focus. GCC brand serial to USB converter. Uh, and this will go into our Windows laptop, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, first things, turn the machine on. Focus. There we go. Power switch is right here. It'll take a minute to boot up. While it's booting up, I'll show some of the adjustments. So we have our screen control panel. Um, this is our up and down lever feed. So as we do, as we adjust this, this will raise and lower the roller feet, which secure the media to the feed rollers, which are here. Um, when the arm is in the forward or up position, we can move these roller feet side to side. And I'm doing this by just reaching around the back. And I don't know if you have to squeeze this lever or not, I do. Um, and you just kind of carefully slide it around. Uh, feature about these, you see these white marks, various spots across here. Uh, it uses an optical sensor to determine where these rollers are. So if you have a roller, um, well, and these are also where the, the powered feed rollers are. These white marks correspond to those. So as you move these around to adjust for your width of your vinyl, um, that's where it can pick them up. If you have them in a black area, the machine won't know where uh, your rollers are and it actually won't know how wide your vinyl is. So from this innermost one, our rightmost one, this is our origin, to the uh, leftmost one, that's the width of our vinyl. Uh, to load the vinyl, I just have a roll of red back here. Um, just kind of feed it through the machine from the back. We have, once again, we have a feed lever up. You'll hear the fan kick on. Just got to kind of work it over all the rollers and uh, our cutting strip. And then I like to put tension on the roll by uh, rolling it backwards uh, and then kind of shift it over. And what I'm doing is moving it over to the rightmost roller. Uh, so it's just covering it and then pulling it tight by turning that uh, pin at it from this side, using my hand to give it some counter tension by turning it clockwise. Uh, that'll pull it tight and because you want this vinyl tight and straight uh, perpendicular to the feed motion. Uh, once that's done, flip the lever down um, and the screen will give you some options. So lever up, load media, lever down since we're using a roll, you press the up key. Um, if you're using an edge, I don't know what that means, or if you're using a single, which is just like a, a small square vinyl like an off cut. Uh, you can do that, and then it'll also check the forward-back motion. One thing to note, I do have a little piece of vinyl over uh, here, uh, just in case I want to cover the feed sensor, um, which is useful if you're doing a long cut and it the vinyl lifts up and it can't read the feed sensor. Uh, so we have a roll. I'm going to press the up key. Now it's going to size the media, so it goes all the way across. And you see how it found where where our feed roller is, uh, right over the white line. Um, so actually I want the full width. So I'm gonna lift, lift that up, slide this over. Counter tension on it, eyeball it, make sure it's straight. Lever down, press up on the feed. A um, Couple settings on here, the most important things. Uh, so it does have an offline and an online kind of mode. So right now it's online, which means it's ready to cut. Um, but we can change things like speed. Uh, I'll just kind of, so if it's online, turn it offline. And it'll give you the options for setup. So other buttons are set up. Speed, uh, we're at one inch per second. Um, and you can see up is plus, down is minus. 
uh, left key is escape or enter is okay, and that's referring to these. Uh, so left key is almost always is always escape. Um, so speed or force, we're using 5.11 ounces, depends on what you're cutting. Some of the metallic vinyls are thicker, um, cast vinyls, uh, whatever, you can play with it. Uh, I think general settings are around four ounces. Um, so we'll escape out of that. We have our offset, uh, 0 0.005 inches. Uh, the, check the instruction manual, you can see how to measure this, but that'll get you pretty freaking close. Um, and then, let's see, uh, function, we can go through these settings. This is for recutting or making copies. Uh, your baseline speed, your cutting quality, uh, normal or fine is what I normally use. Smoothing cut, not sure, not sure, tangential mode. These are some of the things for cut quality and uh, different things. And you'll see this, you can look in the manual and find this. Um, panel setup only, whatever. Press left to go escape. Uh, tool setting, if you have multiple tools, like a pen tool, whatever. Um, and then we have a cut test. So we'll do a little cut test first. Um, first thing, when the machine's online ready to cut, you can't move the cutting head at all or the vinyl back and forth, so we hit offline, uh, and this will allow us to move our tool. Spookies, okay. We're just gonna find a clean spot on the vinyl. So up and down feeds the vinyl, left and right moves the cutting head. I'm just gonna put it kinda right there. Um, and then we'll do a cut test. Once again, you can, it's giving the instructions. You can move it around, you hit enter. And cut a little square, press feed down so you have some stuff to work with. Some material. Take razor blade, and of course you can't see this, it's too fine. Just pick up the edge, just peel it back. Um, if you have everything set up good, this should peel back, no corners should stick, no edges should stick. Uh, but one corner always does. I like to put those there. Okay, so if you have something like your offset set wrong, what you'll have is you'll have a little bridge just in the corner. Uh, so we will move the machine to a good kind of cutting spot. And then or ORG is origin. This is our kind of starting point. So it's over a clean piece of vinyl. The machine will generally stack vinyl or stack cuts this direction and then length is backwards. Uh, so press enter. Um, so I'll show that again. Let's say we moved it a little bit, press enter. It'll say new origin location, find it. And then you always wanna hit online to start. When you do do that, you'll hear the fan um, and you might hear some motor dithering, which is just that kind of groaning this does, especially with an older machine. Uh, so that's good for the setup. Uh, next, we'll talk about the USB interface and the software we use.